Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Aquarius, the Aries Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This has been a wonderful, wonderful um, experience, whatever has happened. Happening um, in this week, it's going to be positive. You have the energy of the world, you have the energy of the Eight of Cups. That means you're moving away from something and starting a new journey. You have the energy also of the hair element. It is a week of fire, so it's going to be a wonderful week. It's start a week of love, whatever is happening. It's the week of love, and the zodiac energy of the fire is here. You have two major arcana. And the Knights of Pentacles, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, it's a wonderful person. So um, this person is here and is going to open up uh, um, situations in your life. Okay, let's look at what is happening on uh, on um, Monday. You ha Monday is going to be your best day. Monday, Tuesday. It's not a bad week to be um, to be honest whatever is happening it's really not a bad week for you Aries okay let's see what other messages um, your energy is going to be to four six eight eight of Pentacles the eight of Pentacles so you'll be working hard in this week and this is a wonderful experience whenever you're working hard it's positive it's a good 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 positive endeavor so this is very good so whatever is happening um, you can see how positive this is going to turn out for you because it's the energy of the eight of pentacles that mean that you're working on stuff you want to bring balance to your financial world or whatever around you so it's going to be um, very positive okay a lot of stuff is falling out so let's go again and see what more energies are happening um Okay. Yippee! Yay. Okay. Okay. All right. You have your own energy vibration in this week, which is um, extremely good. I want to stop and say thank you to all you Aries um, for the support and the guidance and whatever you have been doing. It's a wonderful experience for myself, but yet still for. Um, you guys, I want to say to each and every person out there, be positive in whatever whatever situation that is going on in your life. Just be positive. Take it one day at a time. Um, you know, everything happened in divine timing. And this is something that we need to understand that nothing happens before it's time. And oh, if you're pushing, um, whenever you're pushing against the flow of your life, then you will realize that you come up with um, barriers and barriers okay we're going to look at Monday we have a conflict on Monday and this conflict has to do with money there's another sign who got this whatever this conflict is it's about money and um, you know what is happening is that whoever you have this conflict with remember that love is the most important thing and whatever it is that has to do with money that you're you know whenever people have conflicts over money as people who are uh, who um you know have the the ego of you know by situation that's why they push the energy of money away um, when we stand away from the conflicts of money what happened is that it will attract us because we are actually not uh, um, fighting for it where fight we are actually balancing our emotions with money so it's going to be a situation with money whatever is happening it's about money and this situation we need to heal and we need to bring in existence and understand what exactly is happening with our financial endeavor that is going to be on Monday on Tuesday it's going to be positive because you have a major arcana and it is the energy of the fool whatever what was happening that people were spying on you or listening to you or you know doing these things and whatever situation that was happening and you're going to see a positive change that is coming in your life and you're going to realize that things are positive and wonderful in whatever you look whatever way you look at them you're going to realize how good things are going to turn out because whatever that was happening 
um, without you knowing it it's in the reverse it can be that for some people your kids are leaving a home for a college far away and this is not really a good feeling so, and um, for some people you know they're worried to know they want to know if their kids are going to survive it um, they have worries uh, getting their kids off and that sort of things and letting go that can also be one of these energy because obviously um, it is a situation that the kid will be leaving moving um, to start their new life and sometimes it is hard to deal with that okay whatever is happening um you have the eight of cups in reverse whatever the situation is you have the eight of cups in reverse um whatever the energy is with this eight of cups in reverse uh you have the eight of cups and the lovers in reverse so some people will be moving away from a situation or uh, yeah some people have moved away and some people will be moving away from um, um, situation it can be um, changing of careers too whenever the eight of cups is uh, um, it can be a changing of careers because you have the eight of cups and then you have the lovers so it could be something that you love and you're leaving it behind and you're looking for something which is much better which is uh, um, a positive positive thing whatever the situation is this um, it's as if you walk away from something and you turn your back on something um, whatever the situation is whatever it was it was a love affair um, it could be a love affair that you had and you decided that this is not really what I wanted and you're moving forward and and that sometimes whenever you can find yourself in that position to realize that you know this isn't working for me this is not what I'm wanting and you're leaving it behind and you will understand that you're at a place where you have inner peace where you know um, what is good for you and what is not good for you okay so whatever is happening some people have left a relationship and is moving on and some people will um, be leaving a relationships okay and this relationship can um, affect uh, the business life whatever it is as we move on um, we have uh, the energy vibration of the Knight of sword and the Knight of sword of the energy vibration of the six from Pentacles whatever is happening is all oh, Monday and Thursday is about the money and this Knight of sword is coming at you okay but um, it can be that some people were let off some people um, was laid off from their work and they need to um, to be paid and this person doesn't want to pay them but yet still they have to pay them that sort of a thing so whatever is happening is that there was an injustice to a situation and the person who had done that injustice is the knight of swords and he um, has done something injustice and he has to pay whatever it is he has to pay you Aries people some money so someone who is Aquarius Libra or um, Gemini have to pay you some money and um, it's going to be money because I'm seeing that this is not really a gift it's going to be money for some people it's going to be a gift uh, for some people he's going to and for some people you have to pay but the, the way it's looking is that uh, you know you have to um, it's, it's more that he have to pay you okay so this is good whatever is happening is that a situation that has um, that was not um, professionally um, done properly um, he would have to pay you whatever it is and whatever it was okay so and it's gonna affect um, people between the ages of 18 and 20 and people older because whatever it is 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 as if it's a boss in an organization and whatever he has done something that was injustice um, wasn't being honest and wasn't being fair and what happened is that now he has to pay you whatever um, money was there he has to pay you something okay as we go forward we have the king of Pentacles and the king of Pentacles is a very positive um, person and this king of Pentacles is somehow going, going to open up doors of opportunity for you so whatever is happening this king of Pentacles is going to open up a, a lot of doors for you in the future and this is going to be extremely good so whatever is happening you have to learn and understand that 
um, this man came in your life for a reason and this man is going to help you open up doors of opportunity which you never thought that could have happened for you so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so if you're connecting with someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn it is a good thing because he is going to open up doors of opportunity that you weren't aware could ever exist okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the four of cups and this is uh, um, balance emotion your emotion is totally in balance and this is good I love you fire sign people because um, you're hard-working but yet still whenever you have to deal with emotional situations you are always uh, trying to um, deal with it in a correct way and for that the universe bless you with the ace of cups and this is so positive and so wonderful so congratulations again I have a lot of people in my life who are Aries Leo's and Sagittarius and I think I so can vibrate with you people um, I understand you totally I, I would prefer work with um, one of you guys the fire sign people because this is going to be a positive positive endeavor whatever the situation um, was with the emotional um, situation it's going to be balanced and it's as if the universe is going to bless you with love so the people who are leaving a relationship it's going to be okay because the universe is going to come back and bless you with wonderful wonderful experience and it's going to bring new love in your life so expect on Saturday for the people who are looking for a partnership or looking for new people in your life or you know not even realizing that you have been sending out that signal it's going to work out for you um, new love is going to come in your life it's going to be a positive endeavor so this is going to be good this is wonderful I love having these and this is just positive okay the last and final card we have on Sunday is the energy of the world so it's an earth element and this is going to be wonderful it's powerful especially for you women so for you um, Aries women it's going to be a wonderful um, situation for the Aries woman on a Sunday it is as if blessings of abundance is going to come to you and whenever this blessing of abundance come to you you should always understand that you really really need to um, open up yourself to new existence and new realities around you and you're going to so be aware of and how wonderful it is so you know for you women um, congratulation is going to be a powerful powerful um, time it's going to be an extremely powerful day for you guys because something wonderful is about to happen in your life so as I said this week wasn't that bad it it, 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 it was actually a nice week it's going to be a nice week because you're vibrating in the zodiac energies of fire and this is going to be wonderful it doesn't really matter what is happening um, it's going to be a positive positive week um, Monday is just going to be a situation where there is an imbalance of money and maybe your partner and you are having this sort of a thing but for the rest it's going to be extremely positive your number is going to be the number six one 11 and 6 1 11 and 6 this is going to be your number um, what is so wonderful about your reading um, as I look at the energy your your love the love that you have new love is coming in for you guys um, in this week it can um, the focus is going to be on Wednesday the middle of the week um, and on um, uh, and on um, um, Saturday but whenever this sort of a situation happens what is happening here is that um, when this love comes in it's going to be so beautiful so wonderful it's going to be experienced beyond your wildest imagination so it's as if the universe is going to bless you with love love in so many different ways that is going to be helping you out in wonderful ways so whatever is happening this is going to be a very positive positive time um, very positive situations are going to come in your life 
um, even though your relationship is ending is as if you have grown out that relationship that relationship needs to end and it's going to be a very positive positive situation because whatever is happening your energy vibration for the week it's going to be the energy of the eight of Pentacles and you're having balance temperance you're having balance you're tempering you're tempering the inner beast within you and you're just going at it and you're just working hard to make something of your life and this is going to be a very good experience so love is going to be very powerful in this week it is actually the cup of this week some people will be um, ending their relationships some people are, th are going to be thinking about ending their um, intimate relationships partnerships divorce um, separation that sort of a thing but it's okay because that lesson has been learned and you need to move on I love this week because there's going to be an um, new beginnings whatever is happening you're going to realize and see how wonderful these new beginnings are going to come in and with these new beginnings you're going to move out and move yourself to some place that is better emotionally mentally and emotionally okay so this is going to be positive as we look at the first half of your week you have uh, the energy of um, the five uh, the five of um, ones the conflicts with the imbalance of your money okay and don't worry about it because um, at the end of the week you're going to have uh, this emotional situation whatever it was uh, in balance and new love for the people who or moving away from relationship you're going to find your soulmate new love because whenever the ace of cups comes up is always the universe is working with you the universe is working with you to find you that perfect match so whenever new love come up it's always that perfect match you know that person that you have always wanted to connect and the outcomes is going to be that you're moving away to something much better some people kids will be moving off to go to college and that sort of a thing some people kids will be traveling overseas to college that sort of a thing is going to be a new beginning for a lot of kids especially kids that are going to college and remember um, for you kids that are listening remember that uh, this new beginning is going to be the beginning of the rest of your life so be aware of what you and how you go about doing that okay as we go forward we have the energy vibration of um, the six of swords and this is uh, this is the situation is a situation where someone who is a, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran it, you know this person had done something and he needs to pay you whatever the situation is he needs to pay you and they are going to let him pay you they're going to let him pay you whatever it is they are going to let him pay you and the energy for you women congratulations you have the energy of the world you women are going to be so strong on Sunday whatever is happening whatever and in this week for you women the energy of the world is going to open up and trust me if you have been helping someone the universe is going to bless you with something beyond your wildest dream so whoever is going to connect with the king of Pentacles, which is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, it's going to be very good because uh, this person is going to bring you to a place that you had no idea you could have been, and this is going to be extremely positive. So, you know, it's, it's as if this man come in your life to bring your wishes and dreams into reality. So, go for it, go for it, ladies and gentlemen, go for it. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying out a new deck I actually like it I actually actually like it um, it has a little kooky side but I do really like it so let's see what is happening here let's see what is happening here okay I'm asking my angels and guides what message you'd like to come out for it the you know I okay if, is there another messages for um, the um, Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign for the second week of August? Is there a message for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign for the second week of August? The Sun. So here you have the Sun and the world. So whatever is happening for you, Aries. It's going to be a wonderful week. This is this is going to be a week of progress. I 
I refuse to, I do not agree with this card. I love this card deck, but I do not agree with this card. Whenever it comes out, I always put it back and ask the angels for something else. So what is happening? The sun is going to come out. The sun is going to, because it's a beautiful week, you guys. Whatever is happening, it's a beautiful, positive week. The energy vibration of the sun is going to come out. It's going to be a lovely week. So enjoy this week because I myself will be trying to do that and it's a good week because it's the energy of the fire energy so it's a fire fire week it's a fire week and this is a positive endeavor let's look and see what is going to be the energy vibration for you Aries Sun Moon and Rising the fire dragons and this is good because you are also a fire sign so this is a good positive thing okay let's do it like this the fire dragon you carry the energy vibration of the number seven and you have one eleven and six okay so dragons are fourth dimension element elemental beams so they can access and transmutate every um, vibrational that that angels cannot reach okay so Archangel Gabriel oversees Archangel Gabriel oversees Thor and is fire dragons you are asked to send out fire dragons um, supervised by Archangel Gabriel to consume negative energies in place auras and ask Archangel Gabriel and the angels to replace the lower energies with a shimmering diamond of pure light. So here we go. Um, you are going to call up on, I now invoke the fire dragons to clear my part to ascension. What you can also do is call upon the fire dragons. I now invoke Archangel Gabriel, supervisor of tone and the element master of fire and the fire dragons to, um, um, clear um, my energy vibration and clear my house and clear my car and clear all the energies the negative energies all around me and I'm acting the angels of Archangel Gabriel to replace it with pure white light a shimmering white light so then you clear your own energy vibration and this is just so powerful because you're not doing anyone anything you're trying to clear the low energies or you can just say I now invoke the fire dragons to clear my part to ascension and it's going to be wonderful so I'm saying to you have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you next week remember to like shares and thumbs up these videos 